Hey guys, in this lecture, we'll create our virtual machines. So let's get started. Now open up another tab and type in console.cloud.google.com. I want to keep the first tab where we've created our firewall rules open so that we can reference the names of the target tags that we've selected. Now from this, make sure that the project is selected as Elasticsearch demo and then click on navigation menu then I need you to go to compute engine and then from compute engine type in instance or select instance templates now instance templates allow you to create reusable templates that can be used to create virtual machines now since this is a demo lab we'll break our virtual machines and we might have to delete them and recreate them it is easier if we create an instance template then we can just reference that template and quickly create our virtual machines so from here click on create instance template now you'll see all the settings on the left and on the right you'll see the total amount of free trial credits that you've got and then also the monthly estimate of running this instance throughout the month so now let's configure a template first the name will be ELK then under machine configuration we'll keep the machine series as N1 and choose the machine type as N1 standard 4 it gives us 4 vCPUs and 15 gigabytes of memory then we'll change the boot disk to a hundred GB so let's click on select now once I make changes to these configuration settings what you'll notice is that the monthly estimate changes so this way you can fairly estimate how much it will cost you to run the machine for the whole month now at the bottom I'll click on management security disks networking and sole tenancy here I'll click on the networking tab I'll make sure the network is selected as Elasticsearch VPC and the subnet is selected as monitoring because ELK servers need to go into the monitoring subnet. For network tag, I'll reference the firewall rule for Kibana and here I'll type in Kibana and then click on create. Next, I'll create the instance template for web servers. So I'll name it web server. I'll keep default for every setting and then straight go to firewall. Here I'll select allow HTTP traffic. Then click on networking. Here I'll change the subnet from monitoring to web servers. Make sure the network is selected as Elasticsearch VPC. For network tag, I'll again cross-reference my firewall rule and the target tag here is web servers so this is what I'll put in then I'll click on create now I've set up two instance templates so now it's time to start creating the virtual machines so click on VM instances then click on create now from the left menu choose new VM instance from template now we'll create the elk servers first so create el so choose elk and then click on continue here we'll leave the name as default in the region tab we'll choose us west 1 for zone you can choose any zone from US West 1 just make sure for all your instances the zone is same so think of a zone as a data center you want all your instances to be in the same data center then we'll keep everything else as default click on management security disk and networking and then click on networking 
make sure that our instance is in monitoring subnet and then click on create next we'll create the second instance for web servers now here i'll again choose new vm instance from template this one would be a web server so let's select that and click continue now we'll make sure that our uh, instance is in us west one we we'll leave all the settings as it is click on management security disk and networking double check that network tag is there now here the subnet says monitoring for some reason so we need to change that so what we need to do is we need to reassign the subnet hook from monitoring to web servers just to make sure that the instance is in correct subnet and then click on create Now click on create instance again. Select new VM instance from template. Choose web server, click on continue. Now we'll need to make sure that it is in the correct region, US West one. We'll leave everything else as default. Go to management security disk and networking. Click on networking and we'll have to correct the subnet here as well so just choose web servers click on done and click on create so this way we have created three virtual machines one for our elk applications and two web servers now there's a couple of things to note here on this on the left hand side you'll get the names of all these virtual machines you can also get the zones you can see that they're all in the same zone which means they're all theoretically in probably in the same data center or, or in the data center that are very close to each other you have the internal IPs so that are mapped to the particular subnet they're in you have the external IPs and you need to make note of these external IPs because this is how we'll connect from our machine into the public cloud. So with this, we've come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next. Hey guys, in the previous lectures, we have set up our account and created the underlying infrastructure for our lab. In this lecture, we'll validate connectivity to our environment from our local Linux machine. We'll first do it through SSH keys and then we'll also validate that Ansible can access your GCP instances. So here I am in my Linux VM. I've opened up terminal and in the terminal, I'll first check if I've got a .ssh folder. So I'll try and CD into it. So it says no such file or directory. So that means my Linux machine does not have any SSH keys yet. So let me type in SSH keygen to create my SSH keys. I'll just enter out of all the other prompts. Now, if I try and CD into the .SSH directory, I'll be successful. And if I do an LS here, you'll see that I have a private key file, id underscore rsa and a public key file, id underscore rsa dot pub. What I'll do now is I'll do a cat on the contents of the id underscore rsa dot pub, my public key file. Then I'll open up my Chrome window. Go to console.cloud.google.com. Here, I'll first make sure that I'm in the correct project, Elasticsearch-demo. Then I'll go to the navigation menu. Then go to Compute Engine. And then Metadata inside Compute Engine. Here, I will select SSH keys. 
then click on add SSH keys then I'll go back to my terminal window and select the contents of my public key file now I'll right click copy and I'll go back to the Chrome window and paste the contents inside the text box and then click on save now what this operation does is it saves the SSH key contents into the compute engine platform to allow access and it also creates a new user called Labit onto all of the virtual machines inside this demo project so I'll go to VM instances and then I'll open up my terminal again minimize it put it on the side maybe here okay I'll clear everything and get out and now I'll try accessing the virtual machines in GCP from my local Linux machine so SSH labit at and then I'll type in the public IP address 34.83.54.213 I'll type in yes and as you can see I'll I was able to access the GCP virtual machine so I'll exit out of this and continue this for the other two web servers so SSH labit at 35.197.4.60 type in yes again successful so I'll exit out of this as well and then SSH labit at 34.83.49.10 yes and successful again so as you can see I'm able to SSH from my local virtual machine to my virtual machines inside GCP using SSH by adding my SSH public key into the metadata section of the compute engine. Next, we'll validate the connectivity from Ansible into the GCP environment. To do that, let's first clear this. Now, let's go to Documents. Here, I'll create a new directory called Elasticsearch. Or rather I'll create a new directory called Ansible go into Ansible and then here create a new directory called Elasticsearch go into Elasticsearch and then here create a new directory called inventory and then go into inventory here I'll create a host file nano hosts.yml and here I'll create a new group called ELK and then in that group I will assign the public IP address of the ELK server so 34.83.54.213 now I'll create another group called web servers here I'll type in the public IP address of the web servers 35.197.4.60 34.83.49.10 then I'll create a group called all here I'll type in the three public IP addresses so 34.83.4.60 54.213 and then 35.197.4.60 and 
and then I'll save this file now what I can do is I can type in ansible minus i hosts dot yaml minus m ping all let me just maximize this so I've typed in ansible minus i because I'm in the current directory I can straight away give hosts dot yaml minus m ping all and then hit enter so finger crossed I should be able to access my public IP addresses so as you can see I'm getting success back so which means from here onwards we can run the Ansible playbooks directly from our local machines onto the GCP servers with this we've come to the end of this lecture thank you for watching I will see you in the next one. if you like this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel